all right into golden pack and we're going for uh, all these saved level ups on turn five and we get the triple manatee now there's no way i'm passing up uh, the triple although manatee initially it looks pretty nice in the shop 13 stats overall however of course every turn you're going to lose 15 health if you take three of them but we're going to do it anyway and i sell the opossums into the osprey not really a big fan of osprey but it's the only faint pet in the shop and we've got this Stoke Frozen to save for a future turn. I'm not really uh, a, much of an expert on Golden Pack, but um, saving Stoke seems like it's a, a good strategy. Uh, on turn seven, if you sell it, you could potentially get a 1-1 one, one Manatee, and then you can instantly put um, Banana on it to get the Monkey quickly. Obviously, that's one of the issues with, uh, it, with getting Monkey in the first place, is the fact that you have to wait three turns for it. But um, with a stoat cell, you can immediately find it. Unfortunately, there are 11 tier fours in this pack. So your odds of getting something specific aren't very good, but you're also not spending a huge amount of gold because the stoat, if you double sell, you're only gonna have spent one gold. I guess the real expense is keeping the slot frozen. If you have multiple stoats, obviously, that is uh, significantly worse. So we did actually get away with a win there, but I think this turn with another 15 health gone, we've got very little chance. So yeah, there had been um, a bit of a discussion in the Discord about the relative strength of the packs and you know could the uh, golden pack hang with the rest? And I think uh, Fritz, who is the um, pretty much uh, golden pack master at this point, I think, uh, was um, arguing that uh, if you hit Secretary Bird on turn five, um, you know that's basically the jackpot. Uh, which having played this a lot this week, you know, just playing golden versus everything. It definitely seems like that is true, and that um, Secretary Bird is the uh, is the best thing you can get on turn five. Um, I did get one here, but because we got the triple manatee, I passed it up. And actually, here I make a really strange mistake where I didn't think about using the lettuce there. We need to feed the manatee to keep it alive. I could have just bought Crane, Nurse Shark, and Lettuce, and that would have uh, kept the manatee um, at six health and avoided it uh, fainting altogether. Not such a big deal if you're fainting a level 1 manatee, but I don't want to give up on the level 2 because it's going to provide a lot of stats um, per turn. And scaling is uh, hard to come by in this pack unless you uh, hit Bird of Paradise late on. So uh, the Nurse Shark as well, that was also in the discussion. Is Nurse Shark bad now? Um, I don't think it's bad. I think in if you're playing Golden versus Golden, I, th I still think it's fine because the 18 damage hits are going to kill an awful lot of stuff. But if you're playing against all packs, I think there's a lot of things that the Nurse Shark's just not going to be able to kill. Um, I mean, obviously it was nerfed because, you know, it was kind of busted before. Um, well, not kind of, it was very busted before. Um, and, I mean, part of that does come from custom packs. You know, if you're playing customs, you've got access to Tiger, Mushroom... Um, it's much, much easier to level stuff up. Much easier to scale things as well. Um, although, to be honest, a lot of the Nurse Shark teams really didn't need scaling as long as they had um, a Nyala or uh, I suppose they, they were selling Tamarin into Highland Cow as well. Um, they were pretty much unbeatable. Not completely unbeatable, but, you know, unbeatable enough that it was a problem and needed to be fixed. So we got the slug from the uh, the stoat cell there. It didn't really help, but we do get the manatee despite rolling with the octopus frozen. That was uh, a little bit um, sketchy. I probably should have kept the whole shop open there because we really needed to find the manatee to keep uh, keep the um, the level two alive. There isn't anything in the food shop that I could have bought that would have kept it alive other than um, a potato. But then of course you're going into battle with like a, a one HP unit or whatever it was. I think it was 1 HP. I mean, that's going to be the thumbnail of this video, so um, it's not going to be the, the last time that uh, the manatee ends on 1 HP. So we're doing all right. We don't really have the Nurse Shark working properly because, of course, I'm putting it up at the front. The whole point of this, and a lot of the time when I'm playing the static packs, I'm just trying to get different lineups that I haven't seen before or I haven't personally played before. And I was taking Nurse Shark every game and trying all the different variations and here we get the Highland Cow on the level up. Basically the only thing that you can use to generate trumpets if you're gonna play Nurse Shark at the front like I am here. Um, 
obviously the osprey does generate trumpets but it's, you're only going to get one per groundhog and if i put the uh, osprey at the front we'll only get one groundhog anyway so here's a pack one uh, summon team they've also got the cat though and uh, they kept the fish so um very easy win and now just need to get the nurse shark and the highland cow leveled up as soon as possible because um they're you know at, at level one you're only doing one snipe so you can um very easily end up hitting something useless so we really need level two or higher and of course in this situation we don't we can't really justify putting a chocolate cake on the nurse shark because it's uh we've invested a lot of stats into it um I mean, that's all just part of the process of trying to play things slightly differently. Of course, I mean, if you get Bird of Paradise or, or um, Catfish Octopus or something early, you can scale pretty much anything up in this pack. But I think the vast majority of the time you see Nurse Shark, low stats plus chocolate cake. So Manatee is getting closer and closer uh, to death. It, it regenerates the melon this turn, but we're going to have to do something about that pretty soon. So here's a typical pack one team that you're going to see a lot of the time. You know, the penguin, monkey, giraffe kept for all eternity and uh, we can't beat them. So, maybe, you know, if we had the nurse shark at a higher level there, maybe we would have uh, had a better chance. And yeah, you can see there, I'm, I briefly thought about chocolate cake, but that's not really a sensible play. Just looking for another chocolate or nurse and then we'll just buy the Highland cow if there's nothing better. We don't get it. I can't take the pret. Well, I can take the pretzel, but it's not going to be plus four four because the osprey is tier three. I think that's one of the positives and negatives about this pack that it encourages you to sell units that are low tier and replace them with higher tier ones. Both just because you know the higher tier ones are drastically better, and um, but also because of things like baboon and um, and pretzel. But at the same time, you can see how it. it at times it really makes it difficult to win when you're playing against packs that just incentivize taking early tier units and just pumping stats into them. Kind of like the uh, the fish beaver team that we faced uh, a couple of turns ago. Now here on nine wins, I get very fortunate on that final roll. I was a little bit cavalier there that I did get the chocolate and the um, pretzel in order to feed the manatee and keep it alive on one HP. So we get matched with a pack two opponent at the end, but thankfully the melon from the uh, crane manages to keep the manatee alive from the octopus snipe and the groundhogs and retriever are gonna finish off the opposing team. So give it a try yourself, turn on, play against all packs and, and run golden pack and see how difficult it is. Um, maybe try not taking secretary bird on turn five as well.